So it's that time of the month again. My top secret M&S tasting package has arrived. It's always my favorite time of the year, Halloween, Christmas coming up as well, but I'm hoping that in here are some crazy, scary goodies and all kinds of amazing food because I can't wait to try and choose my Mark's Fave for the month. It's probably not the order that I should try things, but I like to try dessert first. Yummy, mummy, yum nut. Mm. Anyway, in it goes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Like a donut, but kind of a little bit flakier. You can't beat it, and I'm sorry, mate, but I'm gonna have to eat your eye. Sticking with the dessert theme, next I'm gonna try this sticky toffee cookie. Look at the bit of toffee sticking off the end there. Mmm, I love cookies so much. And when it's Halloween themed, how can you go wrong? Absolutely. Delicious! Help me! Next we have the petrifying popping candy jelly brain. I mean, look at it. It is green. It's got blood on it, popping candy on it. You can hear it. And we go. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, I don't even hear the popping. Oh my gosh, it's really delicious though. Oh my god. That raspberry sauce on top, blood I mean, it's just delicious. Trick or treating isn't exactly going to be on the cards this year, so why not make a little Halloween party at home? That jelly needs to be included. What do you think, person? Okay. Next we have the mummy meatloaf. I literally just did a little egg wash before putting it in the oven. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mixed between like a sausage roll slash Christmassy pigs and blankets, but like a pastry version. I don't even know how to explain this, but it is delicious. The meat is nice and crispy with the pastry. You know, when it's like really crispy on the outside and then like where it's touching the meat is a little bit gooey. Like that's all my all time favorite. Now that we got the Halloween stuff out of the way, this is the chicken arabiata. If you're out and about or you just need a quick lunch, this is, it's banging. Full of flavor. You can taste a little bit chili, garlic, tomato. I mean, it's like, you just made it fresh. So the next of the contemporary eats, chicken katsu curry. Such an easy thing to take to with you to work, or if you just want a quick lunch, it's healthy on the go. I mean, look at all the veggies that are in it. It's great. Anyway, time for the taste test. Mmm, mmm, so good. It's like got every kind of thing that you want, like the spices are just right, all the different textures with the rice and the veggies and the chicken. I mean, it's like a really well-balanced meal, actually. Perfect to take to training with me because it would be exactly what I needed in between training sessions, so. Best ever mac and cheese, and also butternut squash pasta bake. Absolutely buzzing to try these. And Robbie, you're gonna have it for your dinner, aren't you? Is it gonna be good? Yeah. <laughs> right, there you go. Are you gonna feed little Percy? That butternut squash one is delicious. Like, I, I love the fact that there's like crispy breadcrumbs on top as well, which make it like, delicious. Right, now for the best ever mac and cheese. Mmm. That. It's absolutely delicious. You want that blue one? You want the blue one? Yeah. Would you like some more? It's hard to decide my official Mark's fave because I have a savory favorite and a sweet favorite. So sweet favorite, got to be those cookies. Those cookies with the little eyes, the sticky toffee, the caramel and the chocolate in it, they were gooey and delicious and they look great on the table if you're having a little Halloween get together too. And for my savory, the mummy meatloaf was absolutely uh, delicious. Like, it looked really cool and the pastry was amazingly flaky and delicious so those are my two marked faves. I'm gonna have to have two this month, I'm sorry, but to be honest it was all delicious and you know, me and Percy are getting on just fine. <laughs>